Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So in today's video, I'm going to go over why I'm bullish on Ford Motors. Uh, so let's get straight to it. So I uh, just want to go, you know, just cover some of the basics here on why I think this company is a good company to invest in. Again, this is just my opinion. Um, you know, I, it's recommended that you do your research if you're going to invest in mortars. But uh, without further ado, let's get straight into the reasons why I think Ford is a good investment. Uh, so first off, I like to start off with just looking at the financial data that's available for Ford Motors. And based on my research, uh, I, I really like what I'm seeing here. So if we start off with valuation, uh, this this stock, uh, Ford Motors, is currently trading at 4.75 times earnings compared to the automobile industry of 18.5. So I always like to invest in companies that are considered to be undervalued. Um, but at the same time, you know, we'll, we'll dig further deeper into why it's trading at a lower P ratio. Uh, the next metric I like is the peg ratio, which is uh, far less than one. And any, any peg ratio that is at least one is always a, a good indicator that the company is, is, is uh, meeting its growth expectations. And so this company is trading way below one, which tells me that, you know, the, the, the industry or the company itself uh, could be uh, distressed uh, during this time. And whenever there's a distressed asset, um, I always like to see if there's any opportunity to invest in, uh, given that it's selling at such a low price. Uh, the next metric that I like to look at is a uh, price to sales. Uh, again, you know, selling below a one price to sales. So I, th I think that there could be an opportunity that this company is currently trading uh, way under uh, fair market value or considered undervalued. Okay, the next section is the growth section. So one, so one of the key metrics that I look for here is the revenue growth. So in the last five years, Ford has all, has actually um, generated negative revenue growth of 2% compared to the automobile industry average of 31%. So that is definitely a red flag. And I, I like to know, what, you know what, what are the reasons why they're generating less, less sales? And... Part of the reason I think is that you know Ford had went through a period where it's it was starting to sell less cars, and that that's the reason that, that the revenue could be decreasing. Um, however, I'm pretty optimistic about the electrical vehicle uh, products that they have, and just given the, the the future outlook of the electrical vehicle industry, um, one positive sign that I see here is that they do have positive cash flow growth rate of 13%, still below industry average. Uh, but when we look at projected earnings per share growth rates in the next year, this company is looking to grow at 11%. And if we look at the next three to five years, this company is looking to grow, uh, have a forward um, earnings per share long-term growth rate of 74% compared to the industry average of 29%. Uh, so that is a really good sign. Uh, let's move on to the next one. So in terms of profitability, the, the company in the most recent quarter actually uh, generated negative uh, net income. So this is a, a, a pretty red flag, but when you compare it to the overall automotive automotive uh, automotive industry, uh, the industry as a whole actually generated almost negative two thousand uh, percent net income. So relative to the industry, I think Ford actually performed well uh, compared to the overall automotive industry. Um, as far as returns, I mean, we could we could look a little bit on returns. Uh, they have a pretty good return on equity of 28%. Uh, trailing 12 month, most recent quarter was obviously negative 27%. As far as their balance sheet goes, um, it looks like their 54% uh, debt to asset ratio on most recent quarter. Um, this is typically a little higher debt than I would like for a company to have. I typically like to invest in companies that have no more than 40%, but just given that how low this how low of a p ratio this stock is selling i think i'm willing to to take on the, the risk of having a higher debt on the balance sheet um, and if you look at the current ratio uh, they have 1.2 times the uh the amount of current liabilities so that tells me that this company has sufficient amount of cash on the balance sheet to meet its short-term debt obligations um, as far as the payout ratio it looks like they they may be uh, have some dividend yield uh, back to investors so we'll take a look closer look at that um, so that gives you just a, a brief sense on in terms of financial performance uh, I think that there's an opportunity here uh, let's take a look at some other things that I feel are a positive for this company 
Um, as far as dividends, uh, this company is paying 2.96% dividend yield uh, relative to the stock price uh, compared to the market medium of 2.6. So I can basically um, count on that I could get some sort of dividend yield every quarter. Um, as far as earnings per share growth rates, um, you know, they've looks like they've uh, actually performed better than expected in, in the past couple quarters. And they're projecting that there's going to be a positive uh, earnings per share growth rate in the next uh, two, two quarters. Um, so let's go back to some of these other statistics here. Uh, fundamentals. I mean, this is just kind of a, just an overall sentiment of the market. Um, you know, it, Ford could be considered to be undervalued. Um, but the real research um, that I feel kind of, um, you know, gives me the assurance that this is a good investment is by looking at the market research reports. So uh, there's a couple of third party firms that do research. And one of the ones I really like is Zach's Investment Research. And they recently um, published uh, a report on Ford. And one of the things that I like was some of the feedback they've gotten from their new electrical vehicles. So there's a summary summary here that says, strong vehicle mix supported of F-series trucks and SUV models, including Escape, Explorer, Expedition, uh, EcoSport, and Edge, among others, is expected to bolster Ford's revenue. So there's a positive outlook on the new products that are coming out that are expected to boost Ford's revenue. Uh, the robust electrical vehicle lineup with Mustang Mach-E, E-Transit, and F1 Lightning. Uh, and just want to pause really quick. So this is one I'm really excited about because there's a huge uh, pickup truck demand in, in the United States. And I think this would be a really successful product, uh, the, F1, the F-150 Lightning. Uh, and as, as, you, as you see here, it's receiving great reception and it's set to, and it's set to drive growth. Uh, upbeat 2022 guidance and also spark optimism. Four plus plan with a focus on profitability, growth, e-mobility, e future, and enhancement of uh, customer experience others well. Yet massive electrification spending of over 50 billion by 2026 is likely to strain near-term cash flows, uh, high commodity and freight expenses, a tough labor market, and logistic challenges will mirror near-term profits. Uh, Ford expects commodity inflation to clip. 2022 profit by four billion. Thus, Ford warrants a caution stance now. So, so I think that p part of the risk here is a, a lot of the supply chain and inflation issues that we're encountering. Um, I I believe with the Fed's efforts of raising interest rates, uh, will help mitigate or lower inflation in the near term. Uh, hopefully within the next 12 to 24 months. And I also believe that supply supply chains as we you know, move further away from the pandemic, I think that in the next three to five years, the supply chains will be in a much better state than they are today, uh, being we're in June of 2022. So I, I think these supply chain and inflation are just short term risks. Um, and I think, you know, given that Ford is spending a lot of money on electrification, uh, yeah, it's probably going to hurt their margins and it's probably going to hurt their cash flows. Uh, but I think that they're investing for the future. And you know we've seen the success that Tesla has has had in the past two years. Um, so I, I think that the the transition to uh, electrical vehicles, uh, maybe not 100% tra transition, but a, a, a large portion of the cars that will be on the road uh, in the next five to ten years will be electrical vehicles. And so that's sort of my own personal outlook on where this uh, electrical vehicle market is going. And I think Ford is making all the right decisions now uh, to be able to make, you know, be a competitor in that space uh, in the future. Um, so, so there you have it. Those are my reasons why I think uh, Ford is 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 a good investment. Um, I'm very bullish on this. I'm going to be placing some bets on this company, and you know, I, I expect to hold this company for the next ten years. Uh, and so we'll see. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to publish uh, some updates um, as to how this company and stock is performing and and hopefully that this you know this is a good investment. So if you have any questions please feel free to leave a comment down below. Uh, th thanks for watching. I appreciate it for subscribing and liking this video and I look forward to speaking to you in the next video. Have a good day.